Hello and welcome to the very first episode of our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, I'm the designer and game director for Champions of Meandir, and I'm here with my good friend George. How are you doing this fine evening, George? Hi everybody, great to be here. Awesome, so George is actually pretty new to the game. At this point, I think he's only played a few games, right George? Yeah. Yeah, but even with the few games that he's played, he's pretty much uh, familiarized himself with most of the mechanics, but of course, um, there's going to be some more advanced stuff, I'm sure, that you're, you're going to need to ask questions. And that's perfectly fine. So as we're playing, we're going to assume that you already know how to play. But if that's not the case, go ahead and watch our Learn to Play Champions of Meander video series, which I'll link in the description below. Um, all right, so we've taken our mulligans already. Um, George has created his supply cash token because he's going second in a 1v1 game. Extra edge. Yeah. Uh, before we jump into the game, I'll go ahead and introduce the champions that we'll be playing today. So the deck that I'm playing has Nile Loyal Protector as its champion. So this is a custom built deck. So I actually put this together uh, before the game today. And Nile, he has the activated ability. If I spend one gold, another denizen or item I control gets two abilities. The first is this can't be taken. And the second is when I begin my turn, I score four points. So the way Nile wants to play is he wants to uh, put that those abilities on something, and then that something, if it lasts to my next turn, will score me points at the beginning of my turn. On the other side, so we've got George, and George is playing a starter deck, the purple starter deck. And so um, he's at a bit of a disadvantage because he's playing a starter deck versus a, a custom deck, um, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So George's champion here he is Ava and Wavering Optimist. And the way Ava works is when he ends his turn, if she's in play, she'll look for any denizen that's on his side of the field. And if any of them have less than their starting health, but is still sticking around, then she will score four points for each of those denizens. Give anything enough time and we might just turn it all around. That's Ava, the unwavering optimist. <laughs> Wonderful, love it. All right, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take my first turn. And we'll be on our way. So I'll go ahead and play Familiar Road. It's a location that says imprint, choose an alignment type. And it has a second ability, you are al aligned to the chosen alignment type. So I'm going to go ahead and choose white as my alignment type. Uh, and then I'll use uh, my one gold to play this card here. Ask for donations. It's a campaign that says phase one to three, gain one. And then I'll go ahead and take my free draw. And I'll pass like that. Okay. So what I need to do is, since it's my first turn, All right, nothing so... produces drama like a possessive woman married to a fickle man. And I can play that freely because I have the crowded auditorium. Nice. And the decorated path. It has arrival. Look at the top of your card of your deck. You may put that card in the bottom of your deck. Let me see. Look at top first card can, is it a choice yep you can choose to put it on the bottom you don't have to though nice i love that card <laughs> <That's pretty> good <laughs> so i pass the turn back to you my nice friend. all right i've got my gold for the turn and put a phase counter on my campaign and i will go ahead and use my free draw all right so i'll go ahead and use my ask for donations right away to go up to three and then i will play Hmm. Sorry, thinking, thinking. I'll play this card here, Avoid Conflict. So Avoid Conflict is a campaign that says phase one to three, a denizen gets this can't attack and this can't be attacked. And then I'll go ahead and yeah, I think that's it for me, I'll end my turn. Okay, okay. Good reprisal, good reprisal. <laughs> uh... I will also follow suit with my own campaign. Ooh, that's a good one. Why don't you read that Remove one for distractions. us? Remove distractions. Phase one to three. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Getting what you want is often simply a matter of wanting other things less. <laughs> Some good lessons in here, guys. So I think, is that all I would like to do? 
I could do something else, but do I want to do that right now? I feel like it might be beneficial, so maybe I will just sack the decorated path. Yep. And draw card. That's right. I have abandoned I have abandoned a place in favor of greater riches. <laughs> but that's but enough of this. I used the jealous spouse at the previous turn so that I can now use her to attack other things. For example, the familiar road. Yes. I would do two damage to it, sir. Alright. Two damage to my familiar road. And I end my turn. Alright. So Grab my goal for the turn, put phase counters on each of my campaigns. Uh, I'll go ahead and use oh, my man, free draw. So strong. All right, so I'll go ahead and use this right now to get my extra gold. I'll play guard dogs, and then I'll have avoid conflict, put the abilities this can't attack and this can't be attacked on my guard dogs. So I'll put a reminder here to just say avoid conflicted. And that just represents just to remind us that he's got both of those things there. Uh, and then I will play this card here, the Chromatic Ring. Oh, no. Yeah. So Chromatic Ring can't be attacked. And then because of Avoid Conflict, Guard Dogs can't be attacked. Because Guard Dog says items you control can't be attacked. So this is a, a combo that basically makes my items nice and safe now. Super. All right. Super and then powerful. I'll pass the turn like that. Oh, wow. Put the phase counter on. Add a counter. Let's put steel. Let's put the uh, steel buckler into play. Right. Let's use overcharge. <laughs> nice. Until end of your turn, selling items gains you two more. So if I sell it right now for two gold, I get four gold. And then I go back up to four. Not bad. So I put, so I put that in active. This inactive. Cool plays, bro. Thank you, thank you. I guess I, I guess I, I guess I gotta do it. I play exotic tigers. Oh, not bad. That's a fun one. Oh, and your jealous spouse is actually hostile, by the way, because she attacked. Yes, yes, she is. Did I draw my two cards? Uh, you haven't used it yet. No, I didn't. You can use it anytime you want. So you can go ahead and use it now if you want. And you also okay, have so not used your free draw. Oh. So you can use your free draw and then you can activate your remove distractions just for even more selection. So I'm going to draw three cards. Yep. But now I have to discard one. And I end my turn. End your turn, eh? All right. So I'll get my goal for turn. Uh, I will put phase counters on each campaign I control. Draw Uno Cardo. I'll go ahead and use this right now. And that completes that campaign, so I'll remove it. Play Hidden Cave. And all right, I think it's time to play my champion. One, two, three, to get him out. And then I will put the Avoid Conflict abilities on him with my Avoid Conflict campaign. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and spend one gold to activate Niall's abilities. So that will give his two abilities to the Chromatic Ring. So I'll just go ahead and make a reminder my chromatic ring is now Niled, and then I'll use my last gold uh, to put a search counter on this hidden cave, and then I'll abandon this to draw a card. And then, let's see, do I want to attack? Oh, I can't attack. Okay, I'll pass the turn. So I'm going to draw my free card. And you got four gold this turn, don't forget. I got four gold this you turn. You also have a, a supply cache that you have not been use, using. It's true. I have a supply cache that I have not been using because I am deci I'm being indecisive about what I think is the most important chase. I place gold. Up oh, to two Zenzines nice. get negative one, negative one. So I do that to both of yours. All right, so here's... Uh... Pro tip here, you might want to use one of those scolds on your exotic tigers. And because if you do, then when you play Ava, you will score four points because the tigers actually did not enter your active zone this turn. 
Yes, I yeah. would actually like to. I would actually like to do that. Yeah. Because I should play her now. Yeah. Um, but first you got to right. resolve Scold. So Scold is gonna yeah. So minus one, minus one, and then who's your, who's the second target? I'm going to choose Nile. Okay. So Nile's gonna go down to a one three because he's he's been scolded. <laughs> um, all right, and then now you have no gold. And I can still use remove distractions. That's right. Draw two cards. Got to discard one. And that's my turn. When I end my turn, I get four points. You're going to get four points. That's right. All right. And then you pass, pass the turn. turn. All right. Awesome. Good turn for you. So I get my goal for turn. Uh, put face counter on my avoid conflict. And uh, chromatic rings ability is going to trigger and score me four points. Because it has lasted one turn cycle. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw my free card. All right. So chromatic ring says you are aligned to every alignment type. So I'm going to be able to play, even though I have no blue locations, I will be able to play quick learner without playing or without paying alignment tax. Uh, and then nice. uh, I'm going to do a pretty cool trick here. I'm going to go ahead and use Niles ability to give those two abilities to guard dogs. So guard dogs now has denial ability. And then I'm going to use quick learner. I'm going to choose another non-unique denizen I control. And then this gets a copy of any number of the chosen denizens abilities. So I'm going to spend one gold to grab all the abilities of the guard dogs. Oops. So the quick learner now has the avoid conflict abilities. It has Nile abilities and it also has the guard dogs abilities. <laughs> Avoid conflict. Niled. Yeah. So it's got so strong. This can't attack. This can't be attack. It's got this can't be taken. When I begin my turn, score so four points. And then items I control can't be attacked. How is Yugi going to get through this one, gang? Tune in next time to All combo. the abilities. Uh, all right. Oh. So. I'm going to end my turn and I ended up not using my avoid conflict. So that has expired. I'll get rid of that. And then I will go ahead and pass. Free draw. And it is turn five for me. That's right. And I use two gold immediately to play desire to oh, live. Oh, nice. Tactic. Unfortunately Identity though, you cannot attack, so you're gonna to have to find some other creative way to reduce her her health. I hope you have a way, though. Yes, I am going to get uh, one at a time, live. though. Resolve your desire to oh. live first. Okay. Uh, I want to use my desire to live on jealous spouse. That's right. Absolutely. And then I'm going to add. I'm going to add the reminder. That's right. So desire to live says the denizen gets this die. doesn't get removed due to having zero health. So it gives it the ability. This doesn't get removed due to having zero health. Does not die with zero HP. Noise. Tell me you got a dishearten. I do have a dishearten. Yes. Pop off. Pop off, George. I'm, nice. I got a dishearten. All right. Read this one to the class, George. What does dishearten do? A Denzian gets negative two, negative two. Right. And who are you picking with this Harden? I'm going to choose the Jealous Spouse. Mm hmm Because the special ability of the purple deck, starter deck, and for everybody who's becoming a fan of the purple cards, is that <laughs> for Ava and most win conditions, reducing HP and leaving your Denzians in play is how you win. Because Ava is saying that no matter how far you fall, no matter how much you think you screwed up, there will always be an opportunity, so long as you believe, so long as you try, to win. <laughs> Lovely. Yep, so she becomes a 0-0, zero, zero, but sticks around because she has the desire to live. So and you're going to score eight points when you end your turn. I should probably draw those two cards first. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to play the... Hidden patch. Oh, you didn't you didn't I'm, discard a card, right? You drew two cards and then you got to discard one. But I'm gonna put this one in. Gonna put invective zone yeah. that one. Bec 
And then this, and this then is I now complete, put, so this goes away now. Now I take that away. I summon another jealous spouse. Nice. And I also summon an obnoxious name caller. Oh, no. So inspiration. Obnoxious name caller has inspiration. Another doesn't gets minus one, minus one. And your inspiration is unlocked because you have played three or more cards this turn. And I aim it towards, I believe, your quick learner. Yep. I think that's the right call. Yeah, you're going to have to start removing my things. Yes. Yes, I can. But I can't do it yet. But wait a minute. I have two cards in play. So when I end my turn, I score. One. Look at that. points. That's okay. pretty awesome. All uh, right. I'm doing... Okay. <laughs> You're doing things. Things are being done. All I'm right, so... I'm going to begin my turn, get six gold. Uh, these three things are going to trigger and I'm going okay. to score 12 points. One, oh, two, three, geez. four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A crazy amount of points. Um, all right. And then I will draw a card. Okay. 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 So you are going to win next turn unless I get rid of some of your stuff. So I'm going to have to spend this entire turn getting rid of your stuff. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Let's go ahead and play Restraining Order. Restraining Order is an item that has the activated ability. If I pay one, banish a hostile denizen, then lose the Restraining Order. So I'm going to actually use Restraining Order to banish Jealous Spouse. So put that on the bottom Dang. of the deck, please, sir. Oh, you're in active zone. Got to change where that went. Put that at the bottom of deck. There we go. That's right. Banish means put on the bottom of deck. And then I'm going to spend two gold. Oh. Outmaneuver. So I'm going to outmaneuver your exotic tiger. So um, this uh, outmaneuver says dismiss a denizen. Dismiss means, sorry, dismiss means put to your hand. So go ahead and put that to your hand, please. Ah. Yeah, that's right. So good. Um, all right. And then I'm going to use my last two gold to hopefully seal this game in my favor. I'm gonna play Brace for Impact. Brace for Impact says up to two denizens get plus zero, plus three. So I'm gonna give plus zero, plus three to these two denizens here. One, two, three, one, two, three. So they are nice and safe. And I only need one of these to survive until my next turn to win. So I'll go ahead and end my turn. Good luck, George. Is Nile at his original HP? He is not. Let me draw my card first. Ah, uh, <laughs> life is so funny. Um, yeah, I should use my alluring seductress nice. to use on your to use on your Nile. All right, so there's an interesting interaction here because Nile is my champion. If you take him, the result will be that he gets removed. However, if you take any denizen that's not a champion, it will. Um, operate as expected you will have gain control of it but just not the champion specifically so um oh, okay yeah so when you take nile uh you will it'll go into your active zone for a brief second and then the game rules will remove him and uh, he goes back into my champion zone as a result nice i summon master craftsman <laughs> inspiration fetch a non-unique item card do I do I get that? No, I don't get I don't get my inspiration this time. Uh, so you played one, two cards so far. If you have a location or something that you can play. No, I don't. Oh, okay, so inspiration will not be unlocked. Okay, how many how much points do I score just with these two cards? So unfortunately, none of these cards have less than their starting health. So you're not going to score any points off these guys. Ah. Uh... So I need I need more cards right now. Maybe something. <laughs> you just abandoned your supply cache. Nice. Yeah, I had to I had to find out. I've exhausted everything, so I don't score any points this turn. Yeah. All right. You win so this, this turn. All I have to do is uh, let my three cards here trigger their abilities, and all together they will score me twelve points. So ah, so close. 
Yeah, so this was close. actually pretty close. Uh, if I had let it go back to your turn without removing your dudes, that would have that would have been all she wrote for I... me. But I had uh... the right removal at the right time, and yeah, uh, lasted till my turn, and I was able to take it at the end. So good. Like I tried. I genuinely was trying. I was trying to like outpace you. Like I was trying to play my game. But I'm I love this game, man. It's really fun. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad to hear that. Um yeah, thanks for the game. I had a lot of fun. Uh yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see you getting better and better. And um this game has a pretty high skill cap. There's always ways to improve. Um I bet if you Watch this video afterwards. You'll see a lot of different things you could have done, different sequencing. Oh man! Uh, to have improved uh. your, your gameplay, but yeah, this is part of the fun of the game, man. Uh, you you get better. Yeah. As you play. The meta. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so that's good. it for today's episode of uh, our Champions of Meander gameplay. Um, George, do you want to leave the audience with anything on our way out? Um. Be willing to open your mind to new things and there's nothing wrong with tradition and whatever you're doing if you're having fun and promoting positivity towards others it's a good thing and play champions of meander wonderful all right everyone see you next time see ya